Guyana is developing a renewable energy matrix to guarantee energy affordability and reliability. As part of this energy diversification effort, eight solar farms will be constructed across the country, specifically in regions 2, 5, 6 and 10, for which tenders are currently open and the bidding process is ongoing. The Guyana Utility Scale Solar Photovoltaic Program GAISOL, as it is called, is currently the single largest investment in solar PV and it promises on completion to add 33 megawatts of clean energy into the electricity network. The project will not only diversify the energy matrix by reducing the use of fossil fuels in the generation of electricity, but will also introduce more renewable energy options to make the local energy sector less carbon intensive. It incidentally or coincidentally will serve to reduce the cost of generation uh, in these systems because you're not buying fuel anymore, right? The sun doesn't send a bill at the end of the day. Um, so in this instance, you're looking at a situation where the utilities can have access to capital that would have other been used to, to buy fuel and that sort of thing. The Guy Salt project has made funds available for a social component that will see engagements with the communities where these solar farms will be built. Some 50 women will be trained in solar PV and aligned with associated job opportunities in the renewable energy sector, along with an additional 20 apprentices to be afforded work exposure in the renewable energy sector. Construction of eight solar farms, while that is something that will add to the development of not just GPL and, and Guyana as a, as a whole, but I, I like the fact that we have included a social component which just also gives back to the beneficiaries and members of the Guyanese society. Costing $83 million, the project is being executed by the Guyana Power and Light and administered by the Inter-American Development Bank and financed with payments from the Guyana Norway Forest Agreement. Work will start by July 2023 and is expected to be completed by July 2025.